Hello and welcome back to Ashley You Life. In today's class, I'm gonna get a little serious because I had something happen to me about three and a half years ago. I was given a gift of hair products and a flat iron and it was a really good flat iron, mind you. And I was really excited to use everything. So the next day, I take my shower, I use the new mousse I got. Once my hair's dry, I was like, I'm gonna curl my hair with my new flat iron. And I did it and it was fine, it was good. And then the next day, I go to get in the shower and I come out and my hair texture just felt funny. I was like, oh, I must have not rinsed out all the conditioner. So I jumped back in the shower, washed it out again. Came out of the shower, still felt the same. I was like, well, maybe I just did it backwards. Maybe I accidentally did like conditioner first instead of shampoo or whatever. So I went back in the shower, I rewashed my hair and I came back out and it still felt the exact same way. And I was like, what is going on? And then I realized that my hair was fried. And I was like, what the heck happened? And so the only thing that I had done differently in my routine was that new mousse and that flat iron. And so I don't know if it was one or the other. I don't know if it was a combination of both items. It fried my hair. I was like, ah, I can't have this happen. I had just gotten engaged. I was about to get married in a year and I know how long your hair takes to recover from something like this. And I was freaking out. I don't know what to do, but I just started doing certain things and I definitely had to chop my hair off and it was the shortest it had ever been. Eventually though, after some time, my hair is finally getting back to normal and it's growing and it's long. And I wanted to share with you the five things that I did to get my hair to grow and be back to normal. The first thing that I did was start to deep condition my hair with coconut oil. Now, in the beginning, I would do this a couple times a week, and then I started to do it once a week. It just depended, and I just kind of went on how my hair was feeling, if I needed to do it or not. And I still do it to this day. The second thing that I did was I stopped washing my hair every day. I was one of those people that needed to wash my hair every day because I have relatively thin hair. It gets oily fast. Because of what happened, I didn't want to put that much stress on my hair, so I stopped washing my hair every day. And instead, I would use sometimes dry shampoo. A lot of the times, I would use baby powder, which soaks up all the oil, and it works awesome, and it's it's really inexpensive. I'll give it a try if you've never done it. That helped out a lot. The third thing I did was I started brushing my hair before going to bed to make sure all the knots and tangles were out of my hair. And then I would also make sure to brush it before I got into the shower to wash my hair. I didn't want to get it wet with a bunch of tangles in my hair and then try to comb them out after my hair was already wet. I wanted to make sure my hair was fresh and tangle free before bed and before I got in the shower. The fourth thing that I did was I stopped using any and all hair products, except for my shampoo and conditioner, and then again, occasionally I'd use dry shampoo or baby powder to get the oil out of my hair. But I wouldn't use any mousse, I wouldn't use any hair serums, nothing. I just went completely dry of any hair products. Honestly, I can't say that my hair really misses them. I think it was one of the things that really, really helped my hair get back to where it was. And the fifth and last thing that I did was I kind of created a way to curl my hair with no heat. I stopped blow drying my hair after I washed it. I would let it air dry and then I would do this no heat curl process. Honestly, I think eliminating all these things from what I was doing before really helped my hair get back to normal. I still do them to this day and my hair is getting longer and growing by the minute. So I hope these things help you in case you have this kind of situation happen to you or maybe you just want to bring a little health back into your hair in general. You know, not putting products in my hair has saved me a lot of money. I don't spend money on mousse or serums or gels or whatever. It's just more natural. It works for me. So hopefully it'll work for you. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any ideas. Put them in the comments below. And make sure to like and share so other people can like and share. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next class.